Hi everyone, Dr. Vicki here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center. I'm in my office um, doing some work, and um, I thought I would uh, do a card reading on um, the sentencing uh, that Trump will be, uh, that will be happening for Trump on the 11th, um, I believe it is, and uh, see how, uh, how that goes. Uh, what I can discern from uh, the cards. I'm not um, by no means a legal expert. I don't use the right words to describe what's going on. Um, so, you know, excuse me if I make mistakes in that uh, with the technical stuff. But um, I was listening to... Um, I can't think of her 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 first name, but her... Her last name is Agnifilo. You know who I'm talking about. And uh, she was talking about Juan Marchand because, she, you know, she used to work for the uh, the DA in Manhattan. And um, she said he's a really, really decent guy, a really nice guy, somebody who's always willing to help people who uh, are willing to change and willing to, you know, try to, to you know, go in the right direction. And he's got this guy in Trump who has no remorse and refuses to say he was wrong or, you know, that he's sorry or whatever, because I don't know, because he's sick in the head. I don't know. Um, but I thought, let's take a look and see what's coming up uh, for Trump to, as he gets sentenced in New York for the hush money case. OK, so we have uh, starting up the six of uh, cups. This is a nostalgia card. In this deck, it speaks of uh, the Lord of Pleasure. And so <laughs> I guess we could say that this uh, this whole thing was, was based on his, um, his need to um, find pleasure in his life. Okay. All right. And it's crossed by the emperor. It's crossed by the emperor. Um... I would say that um, the emperor here maybe symbolizes a need to be mature, <laughs> a need to be a leader, a need to uh, act, you know, appropriate like a leader. Let's see what's underneath. We have the three of pentacles. Um, so that's money um, and resources. In the past, I'll, I'll see what it, what it um, in the past we have the fool. Okay, so I think I understand what this is about. Um, in a way, the, these cards look like um, the Six of Cups being his uh, need to, to find pleasure. Um, I think that there's a, maybe a, a, a sense of, of, of entitlement to that, like, you know, Men are gonna men are gonna cheat, cheat, cheat. I don't know, is that a song? Well that's haters gonna hate. Never mind. <laughs> and it's like, you know, hey, like guys do it all the time. Like there's that kind of energy, uh, or I think that's coming from Trump. It's like this should have never been a thing. I can't believe they did this. Well, you know, Al Capone was a bad guy and they got him a tax evasion. So you don't always get the person on the thing that they're that the worst thing that they do, right? Although I do have a feeling that um, that we're going to hear from uh, uh, we're going to hear from the Chutkin case soon. I think that I think well, we'll see. We'll, we'll have to we'll have to ask that question in a separate video um, about the Supreme Court. But um, so there's that, and then uh, uh, underneath it, there is this sense of. Uh, this is about uh, this is about making money. It can be dark money, uh, whatever. But it's like based on money here, and I think that there's he's like he's not taking it seriously right now because he feels like um, first of all he did nothing wrong. I mean, he really does feel like he did nothing wrong here, um, which kind of makes sense because the man has a criminal you know mind. <laughs> um, and he's kind of seeing it as an opportunity to make some more bucks. You know, he's got all these people 
supporting him. So on, on a certain level, he's kind of pleased with it um, because he hasn't been able to be, you know, the, the crossing card of the emperor is like, it's like, in a way, abuse of power. It's, it's, uh, um, the, the Emperor card is like a, it's like an air, it's an Aries card, right? So Aries has, feels that like they have the right to just like do whatever they want to do because that's what Aries do. Aries do things. It's, it's the energy is to have experience. And so, he doesn't see what the big whoops about. He just, he's like, this is ridiculous. Honestly, that's the way Trump feels about it. That is not the way Mershon feels about it. And in the past, we have the fool, which means something that had never been done before. And of course, you know, finding, um, making, um, having the president uh, be a felon is a new thing. Even though there are probably plenty of presidents in the past, I can think of, at least two um, that probably uh, could have been felons as well. And, I, and I'm and i no historian. If I knew more history, I'd probably think there was more. Um, let's see what's in the sky. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. This is an interesting card. First time I ever did a, a card reading on Trump. Um, this, is, this was, I think, the outcome, which is about turning your back on uh, abandonment, uh, lack of success, abandonment because of, of lack of success. Um, so that's in the air. What's in the air, in the sky in this reading is that there's a, there's maybe a part of him that wants to escape, wants to just go, this isn't even worth it. I'm out of here. Like that energy is, is around. And in the, uh, immediate future, we have the, uh, is it the night? The Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. So, so this seems to me like a, 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 a money, a, some sort of fine. I think there's definitely a fine coming for him. Um, and you know, the Knight of the Knight of Pentacles is the only knight that uh, is on a horse that's not moving. Um, and so there is this sense of being constrained in some way. Um, so that's possible. Okay, we'll just say there's possible of uh, uh, definitely a fine, I think, and then perhaps some constraint. Now, it, the constraint, even if he said you have to go to jail for four years, wouldn't start. He wouldn't start it then. Uh, because he is running for president, he would probably have some sort of, um, like the gag order. I don't. It's like I said, I don't know anything about the 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 uh, the legal stuff, so this might not even be a thing. But what I'm, you know, kind of what makes sense to me, which may or may not be right, um, is that they would sort of allow him to continue to do his work, but restricted. There's like they they he'd have to know like he's going here, he's going there. He'd have to let them know, which isn't really very different than letting his security know where he's going to go. He's got the, uh, the, the secret service. So they kind of know where he's going anyway. Uh, but it would be maybe something more, um, you know, another person, you'd have to tell somebody else about that. And then the money, how it's seen from the outside, uh, illumination, this, 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 uh, illuminated the situation for people um but i don't you know i it illuminated people to certain parts of it because there were so many parts of this there was the hush money payment part there was the the interference the the um uh election interference part there was the uh the paperwork um, that part. So there's like all different parts to this. So people are being illuminated to different parts. It's not all the same part. And we have in the domestic situation, the Lord of defeat, the five of swords. This is an abuse of power in, um, the domestic situation. So that indicates to me that he's probably not getting away 
I think, in the way that people are afraid that he might get away with this. In the uh, hopes and fears, we have the Two of Cups. I think that's a hope that we can come to some sort of agreement, some sort of pact. And the Two of Swords as the uh, outcome. Um, of course, the Two of Swords, this is a Libra card, as you can see, the sign of Libra. It's about justice. It's also being at a crossroads, um, non-action. It's not, it's a non-action, it's peace, but no, like justice has been served, but no action beyond that. The Knight of Cups, no. Nope. Yes, the Knight of Cups. Hmm. I feel like there's a gift here. There's a gift. The Six of Swords. Moving over the water, peace, moving out of troubled waters. Let me pick one more. The three of cups, be, being, feeling supported. Underneath it all, we have the six of pentacles. This is about balancing the scales, the ten of pentacles, which is about money and temperance, which is healing. So what does this tell me? What does this tell me? It's not, uh, it's, it's not a cut and dry for me. This is not cut and dry for me. I think that, um, I think Mershon is considering all of these things. He strikes me as a very considered person. Um, and there's, you know, procedures that Trump has to go through. Things that he has to answer, questionnaires, um, you know, you have to, because they're sentencing you, they have to know, um, you know, if you are um, um, uh, if you have any, what is that called? Contrition? Is it contrition? Um, I feel like whatever a decision is made, it's a very, it's, it's a very fair decision. And there are going to be people who don't want anything and think it's terrible. And there don't want him to get any jail time or anything, you know, of course, don't even want, don't even think he should have had this, this should have came through. And, you know, they keep complaining like, oh, this is, this is the one they do, blah, blah, blah. They all, this is the one they do because all the other ones are getting delayed because of Trump. It's not their fault that this is, they went first. You know, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. But I feel like whatever decision is made, it, it is a fair decision. And, um, I feel like the judge is that kind of guy. He is, he's going to apply the law and he's going to take things into consideration. I think he's going to be reasonable when it comes to, uh, when Trump has to be incarcerated in whichever way, uh, he can, um, they figure that out that he will, uh, whatever they do to say, well, you know, you have up to this time, but then maybe put some, um, some restrictions on that things he can and cannot do they might keep the gag order um so he doesn't try to um you know attack the jurors or anything like that so um i think that um it's going to be healing Ultimately, with temperance underneath, it's going to be healing. Things, things get, uh, things even out. Uh, I do think Trump is going to make a lot of money off of it, though. I do think that. But, you know, that's not here nor there um, in a way. I mean, he's going to make money one way or the other. And as long as you ain't giving him money, then, you know, what are you going to do? But, um yeah, I don't know, man. But it, okay, so so what what's the answer to this? You're probably saying she's she hasn't said anything yet, right? Um, 
I think maybe uh, I keep, I would all the twos coming up, I want to say two. I want to say two. Um, two years, maybe. Um, and then, um, but, you know, holding it, holding it until, uh, until he can, um, until after the election. Because it is, it is a state crime. So I don't think he can do anything about it. Um, and then maybe, you know, assuming like if he won, I think it would, it would be like, you know, probation or whatever, whatever that would be. They would change it for that if they didn't, if they couldn't, like if Trump couldn't change it otherwise, but he's not winning. So I don't think we have to worry about it. He's not, he's just not. Um, I know I thought Hillary was going to win until two days before the election, but um, you had to be really, you had to pay, be paying attention really closely to see that that might not have been the case. And uh, it's hard to, you know, go against who you want, right? And uh, I know a lot of the uh, astrologers um, got it wrong because, well, it it because it made too much sense. Um, but um, it, you know, a lot of a lot of us are more liberal in, in our politics anyway. You know, we're more uh, worldly and, and and the like. So. We tend towards that. Not everybody, not everybody. There certainly were those astrologers who guessed right or figured it out, um, and they were a little bit more amenable to uh, his message. But um, anyway, that's not here nor there. So I would say two years. He's not going to go to jail. It's going to take <laughs> probably take two years for the legal stuff to to be done. But he is a felon, and I think he's going to get two years, and, you know, I don't think he's going to make it anyway. So, but we'll see, you know, um, and a big fine. I think there's a big fine here, or there may be some sort of, like, and I don't know if this is even the thing that they can do, is that they, you know, they have the money there, and if he breaks whatever the rules are around his release, um, then... Uh, then he will, uh, then they get to keep the money. Kind of like an insurance policy. I don't know if there's such a thing, but all right. That's what I see, guys. Um, I wish I saw it more clearly. Take care, everyone. Namaste.